guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and I'm a stay-at-home mom of four. I also run an Etsy shop, Purple Glimmer Budgets, where we find a lot of the products that I'm going to use in today's cash stuffing video. Me and my husband are on a journey to pay off a lot of our high interest debt using the cash budgeting method. So if this is something you'd like to follow along with, just keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to be cash stuffing for the fourth paycheck in November. I'm going to be stuffing $938 across the different spending categories in these three wallets. So let's go ahead and get this cash counted. I have this cash in my um, glitter envelope that I have in my Etsy shop. This is the purple one. I also have it in a clear glitter. Mine is different than a lot of the others because I had this button swapped out from pink to white just so that it wouldn't pull away from the purple. So let's get this counted. 100, 200, 50, 3, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 50, 70, 80, 98, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 90, 95, 900, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Perfect. It's all here. Now let's go ahead and get it in my cash tray. Now that I have all my cash neat and organized, let's start stuffing. I'm going to go ahead and start in my personal spending wallet. So the first category to get stuff is going to be gas. And today I'm going to be stuffing $50. So this envelope currently has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 94 dollars. So I might be able to skip it in the next stuffing or so because that will fill both me and my husband's car up. The next um, category to get stuffed is going to be groceries and I'm going to do $200. So $152. Let's see if there's anything in there. It looks like there was a dollar left over. So it has $201. And then eating out is going to get 150. And I believe this should be empty, and it is. And then spending, I'm gonna give myself 50, and I did that in two 20s and a 10. So 20, 40, 50. And this was also all spent last week. And then miscellaneous, I like to give myself a $10 buffer and it was all spent last week. So that is everything for my purple wallet, which is my personal spending wallet. Now let's go ahead and move on to my pink wallet. This is going to be our more high priority sinking funds. And we're gonna start with personal care. That typically gets $12. So a 10 and two ones. Let's see what it has currently. Okay, so with the extra $12, it's 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, $26. So this is for any toiletries or hair dye or anything such as that. So that's what comes out of this envelope. And then household is getting 30. And I'm going to do that in two tens and two fives. So let's see. After adding this. Household has 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 54. So this would be for like cleaning supplies, decorations, or anything for the household. And then clothing. I still have that IU. I'll probably be clearing it up in one of my um, future videos. Um, 
coming up here pretty quickly. But today I'm gonna go ahead and add $100, and I'm gonna do that in all 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, one. 40, 60, 81. Okay, it felt like I might have had an extra one there, so I wanted to double check. So, in total, I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, 118. So, I really have about $3 after I clear this IOU in here. Um, I'm going to keep the 115 in here still, even though I have the IOU and I have the funds in there to clear it. Um, because I want to take care of it with that um, yearly savings challenge I'm doing over on Instagram. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, I do put some of my savings challenges up there. Um, I'm getting ready to launch an exciting product here soon. So in um, one of my upcoming videos, I'll probably debut that here, which has a bunch of my savings challenges in it as well. So um, definitely keep um, a watch for that. So for kids, I want to add 58 so I'm doing that as a 50, a five, and then three ones. One, two, three. So let's see what we have here. So 51, 5, 10, 15, 20, one, two, three, four, five. It's at 125, I think. Yep. So that's a decent chunk there. We've definitely dialed back on spending for the kids a lot lately because they used to get something every time we went to the store and they haven't been. So that's definitely good. Um, and then pet care is going to get 20. I did that as a 20. So let's see what we have here. So 40 in pet care. And car maintenance is getting 10. Let's see what we have here. 10, 20, 30, 41, 2. So 42 dollars with car maintenance. We don't really have a lot of car maintenance besides like oil changes and things such as that. We do have um, warranties on both of our vehicles, which covers majority of any work we have. We have like maybe a $50 deductible that we have to pay. So that's why we don't stuff that too heavily. And then lawn care is gonna get 25. Now it is off season, but it doesn't hurt to have um, this build up a little bit. So we currently have 50, 70, 90, 5, 100, $100 in lawn care. <clears throat> I might be able to swap that out for a placeholder here soon in, my, in a cash condensing video I might film here shortly. And then Amazon. Um, it's also getting 25. I don't think I've pulled from it either, so it should have around the same as what Lawn Care has, because I stuff about the same each time. So 50, 70, 95, 100 in Amazon. I'll probably be pulling from here um, soon to clear some of our um, subscriptions we have. I have a bunch of things of subscribe and save because you always want to see what you can do to save a little bit of money. So there's a bunch of products that we buy on a consistent basis. So I went ahead and set them up through Amazon. So that's everything in our high priority sinking funds. Now let's move on to our lower priority sinking funds. The first category is car tags and it's gonna get $7. So it currently has 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, $28 in car tags. So this is to cover my husband's plate, my plate, as well as the utility trailer we have. Okay. And then the next category is going to be memberships, and it's getting $10 for now. I still need to go through all the different things that we have to make sure that I'm funding this enough. Um, we have a Sam's Club membership that I know of, and then I'll have to um, check with my husband to see if there's something I'm forgetting. So 10, 20, 30, 40 in memberships. And then birthdays is getting stuffed. It's getting 58.
birthdays has 51, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let me just double check that because I think I might have miscounted. 51, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I didn't miscount. So that's good. Um, a lot of that's going to be going here pretty quickly because our daughter's birthday is coming up. So she has a birthday party that we're doing at Chuck E. Cheese. So that's going to be pretty expensive. So um, that'll probably be um, becoming rather empty here soon. Um, this is another category that I'm probably going to use to um, beef up with my yearly um, savings challenge. Okay, then the next category is Christmas, and it's going to get 30, I did a 20 and a 10. Now this is um, for next Christmas. I've already done something to save up for this Christmas, so that's why this is not going to seem like it has very much, especially given how many people we buy for for Christmas. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20. So 120 dollars saved up for next Christmas. That's a good start. <clears throat> and then vacation is gonna be the next one. And it is getting 58. So 20, 40, 55. Six, seven, eight. Let's see what we have. We just got back from a vacation, so we did spend out of this recently. I'm trying to keep all the denominations together. So it has 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70, 75, 80. 85, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 92 dollars for vacation. That's not too bad. We do tend to go on vacations um, a decent amount of time throughout the year. I think we go around three weeks out of the year, so that's why we have so much allocated to that. And then the next one is going to be gifts, which is getting 25. Let's see what we have here. Twenty, forty, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, five, ninety, ninety-five, a hundred. So it looks like I might be able to swap that out for a placeholder as well in my next or in my um, cash condensing coming up. And then the final one is going to be subscriptions, and it's getting ten. So we have. 10, 20, 35, 40 in subscriptions. Now I figure between subscriptions and memberships, I should have enough um, between both of those categories to cover both of them, whether I have to steal from one for the other or not. Um, I need to go through everything again, just to make sure what we have as far as subscriptions, what we have as far as memberships, and then make sure that I am funding correctly. So my wallet is getting mighty thick, so I definitely need to do a cash condensing here um, coming up. So. Um, well, that wraps up my cash stuffing for week four of November. I hope you guys had fun watching. Um, if you did manage to stay to the end, drop me a comment below and let me know what is your favorite part of the Christmas season coming up. If you don't celebrate Christmas, let me know what do you celebrate in its place or do you just not celebrate anything during the next holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye guys.